All right, we are here with members of the Tufts University women's volleyball team, which just won 3-1 against UMass Boston in the second round of the NCAA Division III tournament, Saturday at Cousin Jim in Medford, Massachusetts. From left to right, Elizabeth Ahrens, head coach Cora Thompson, and Mackenzie Bright. Um, coach, could you just open up with a general statement about the game? Sure, I mean, obviously we're incredibly excited. It was uh, the outcome that we wanted for tonight. Uh, we knew it would be a battle going in, so... Again, uh, a lot of respect for all of the teams that are here in this regional, and UMass is uh, nothing but an amazing team defensively. Offensively, they're incredibly dynamic, uh, and we knew they'd make us work for it, and we were planning on making them work for it as well. So it's a good old classic battle, um, and I mean, we're just really thrilled that we came out on the other end, for sure. Thank you. Mackenzie, what do you think the keys were to the victory tonight? Um, I think we really tried to take each point um, by itself and look always forward and never back. So. We always just made sure to keep pushing. Elizabeth, you guys faced some adversity today, dropping the first set. Mm -hmm. Could you talk about the, your resilience as you won three games in a row? Sure. So we, we go into each set with the mentality that the ball doesn't remember what happened in the last set. And after the first set, we definitely had to reset ourselves mentally more than physically because we know that we can trust our training. So in times like that, when um, it seems like we're down on ourselves, we just remember that we're incredibly prepared for what the, whatever the other team brings across the net. Coach, what was your message in the huddle after you dropped that opening set? <laughs> um, I think exactly uh, what Ian said too. I mean, I, I, we work so hard to prepare for each match. We never look past an opponent. We never look past a point, like Bryce saying. We, we stay very much in the present moment. And you could already tell that our emotions uh, were kind of all over the place. So I really just wanted them to reel it in and, and get back to the basics, which was simply playing the sport that we've played so well all year and not overthinking it. And uh, kind of, quite honestly, I told them not to think and just play their game and trust their instincts and trust their preparation. And when they did that, good things happened. So. Mackenzie, what are your thoughts going into the regional final match tomorrow against Springfield and what are the keys going to be in order to be successful? We should have come out with the exact same intensity that we had today. And in again, the second set. In the second set, yeah. Just, just to be clear, <laughs> in the second set. And again, just really take each game by itself, forget what happened today, as great as it was, everything's about the game tomorrow. Elizabeth, what did UMass Boston do so well in the first set, and what were your main adjustments you made after that first set? Um, I think that UMass has a ton of great hitters and um, really great passers, so their serve receive was excellent. They were in system for the entire set. And um, at this point in the season, you know, with really great regional teams, if you're in system, like your hitters are going to put it down, and that's exactly what UMass executed really well. And so going into the second set, we said that we got to be in system and we got to push back as hard as they push, we got to push harder. Coach, your balance attack was huge again today. How nice is it to have so many different threats that rose to the occasion tonight? Oh, I mean, it's it's wonderful, and that's what we've been preaching all year, and that's been a huge part of our success is that we have so many different pieces um, to our puzzle. So, you know, we made some adjustments there in that first set, which we did ground, you know, get a little bit of traction and kind of catch them a little bit in that first set, which was nice to see, which we took into that second set there. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think Angela, you did a great job of spreading it around. I mean, I think all of our hitters, when we were in system, like he said, uh, we have a lot of options, and Ange was giving us great, great opportunities. And then our hitters were taking care of the ball and, and really trusting their instincts and their body position. And, you know, UMass is just such an incredibly tough team. I mean, Elizabeth Glavin is one of the best liberos in this region. And, I mean, I think she had like 25 digs. I mean, she made us work for it, for sure. Um, and Julia Murphy, number six, she's just she's such a great, great player. And so, you know, I think we had to stay really disciplined defensively and, and offensively and really play to that final point. And that was our message to the very end is, it's not over until it's over. So we're gonna play every single point with great focus and determination, so. Coach, this is the first time since the 2009 season that you have advanced to a regional final. How excited are you to be back on that stage? Yeah, oh, I'm thrilled. I'm absolutely thrilled. I'm, I'm so happy for them. I mean, it's, you know, I always tell them, like, I get to be here forever. I hope, my boss, but uh, I get to be here forever. But they've got, they've got four years. They've got this year, that, you know. And so for them, I'm just so thrilled that they have the opportunity to compete at home with our fans, with our teammates. I mean, we've worked so hard as a group to try to, to gel and get to this point. This has been a focus for us, and we've had a clear vision of where we wanted to be. And so I'm just so proud of them for picking ourselves up after last weekend and coming into this regional with that same fire and determination that we had from day one. So I couldn't be more happy for them. And, you know, and of course, I'm excited as well. Coach Kelly and I are absolutely thrilled. And 
Um, we're going to prep. We've got a big one against Springfield tomorrow, and we're not looking past a single point with them either. So it's it's going to be a good battle for sure. So. All right. Thank, thank you, you very much, and congratulations on the win. Thank you. Thank Appreciate you. it. Thank you.